So I woke up in the game and uh not where I thought it would be and my first thought was oh shit the game is bugged out because so I, I tried to do some reading on this game and I went to the reddit and uh ooh. <laughs> boy are they saying the PS4 version is fucked so I'm a little understand it wasn't my decision to shut down Ariadna a little nervous but this appears to be scripted still think it's a mistake it's so much more than Pandora it allows us to step into the realm of human memories and thoughts. Into the real world. Oh yes, what magic. You, the board decided it wasn't financially viable. It was too outlandish. You know what? I believe that companies shut down crazy projects. I don't believe that governments do because they fund some of absolutely absurd shit. Um, okay, so my plan was is I was gonna, I was gonna boot this up and I was gonna like maybe grind side quests because it looks like I can do that off screen, but uh, then this happened, so let's just fucking, you know, let's just see what happens here. Every object is a natural dosimeter. Everything absorbs radioactive particles throughout its life, thus creating an echo in time and space. Ariadna can recreate this echo in a fractal VR simulation. There's nothing outlandish about it. Look, what? I do. It's your life's work. Okay, but a dosimeter but specifically is a it. meter of your dosing, not just the fact that you absorb radiation. Oh, I wonder what all this is. You know what I bought today? That I haven't tried yet? eye ointment because I got fucking dry eyes that make it hard for me to see. I feel like it's going to look like that when it gets here. Alright. Okay, we got a light microscope. Fucking lots of scalpels for no rays on. X-ray machine. Okay, let's, let's keep going. The process requires an unbelievable amount of power. It's Give me the power. The what about those nuclear nano diamond batteries that use the graphite from recycled radioactive? Oh, waste? graphite! Ian Crossland's gonna hear you. Right now, Igor, I still don't think it would be enough for Ariadna to work. You need a power source that Ariadna. Perhaps one that cannot be found on Earth. But are we going to space? I'm sorry, Igor. It's over. You need to accept it and move on. Bitch, you just don't believe. Okay, so we're building funky, funky science. This game reminds me kind of of Metro, doesn't it? A little bit? Or is it just the aesthetic? Oh, what's this? A small fridge. Fuck what that is? Yeah, I'm fuck the board! Anyone destroy my work. Wake up. Wake up, Igor. Ugh. Is this a dream? Yes. I'm waiting for you, my love. She's Hurry. fucking dead. Hurry, I don't have much time left. Oh, I'm waking up, I'm waking I'm up. I'm trying, Tanya. I really am. I need to look at my board. I just said fuck the board, though. Is this my board? The Keep track of your research. Oh, I'm doing research, I bitch! More, I can feed the data to Ariadna and see what really happened to Tanya. Okay, are there multiple endings to this? Maybe... wait, what is... Oh, fuck you. Oh, we picked that up out in the field, right? Who's this guy? Oh, what a handsome dude. He's got that Soviet nose and that Soviet puppy dog cheeks. General Kozlov, the master of life and death in the zone. Does he know where Tanya is? He might. Note to self. Focus on finding more clues. Bitch, you know what I'm thinking about? So, I am excited about this, despite being scared as shit from all the people telling me their game crashed and corrupted on fucking the Reddit, because I I was like, all day, I was like, yo, I can't wait to go back and play more of this fucking game! So, here's hoping it doesn't crash on us, because that will break my little, my sad little heart. Where's my friend? Is he maybe on his bed? Does he like... This nice bullshit that I've made for him. Oh yeah, the creepy fucking dolls. Okay. 
All right, so I think what we'll do is maybe we'll go on that story mission and then maybe I'll be able to go and grind a little bit cuz I feel like if this has a bit of a grindy issue, we don't we don't need to record all of that. Igor, Yo. I need a minute. Do you? What's going on? Something's up. NAR is being really active on the radio. They're looking for someone. Supposedly a traitor and a thief. Let's recruit them. I managed to pinpoint the location. It's Kopachi, the village near the Pripyat River. Wait. This could be our ticket into the power plant. This person might know something. Oh yeah, we're gonna adopt this person. Gear. What do you think he could know? Passwords, credentials, uniforms. How do you know it's a he? And it should be a fairly straightforward mission. If you're smart and fast, you won't even have to mix it up with NAR. You're right. This could be important. We should at least have a friendly chat with this so-called traitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See my point. It's in Kopachi. You can't miss it. Don't I need to go see that other guy that I completely neglected yesterday, though? Huh. How What's are you feeling, place? Oliver? I gave I gave him a gun, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's locked and cocked. Oh, I got two of these fucking thing. Traitor. Memento from the... I still can't fucking read that. I'm in contact. I think... Ugh. Okay, so... I'm gonna go there. Why is my heart yellow? And what I want to do is send him somewhere that he will be successful. He can't go to Kapachi. 53%. That's no good. Why can't you be fucking successful anywhere? Oh, he can be successful in the Red Forest. Well, I mean, it's something. Let's do it. Let's do it! Duga. A huge frightening monstrosity made of steel. Are you fucking kidding me? I was intending on cutting out all of the the loading screens. What does it have to do with you or me? It's been so many years, but someone must remember Igor. Someone has to know. Maybe because it's a story quest. Listen, if this game fucks me, I'm gonna be big mad. I'm gonna have a little tantrum because I'm super interested. It'd be like reading an amazing book and some asshole just comes and swipes it. And, and you know, there's no indigo or chapters for miles. And Amazon doesn't yet exist. Where else can you buy books? Is Barnes and Noble a distributor? Day three, Moscow eye afternoon. Okay, so let's get out my scanner. This is my friend. Because it tells me where the mushrooms are. What did we learn yesterday? That mushrooms are very important. As are the herb 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 herbs. Because my people get real mad at me when they're uncomfortable. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got a little too radiated. So far I ain't seeing nothing, man. Can I pick this shit up? No. Can I go over here? I know you said no further down, but maybe I'll change your mind. I need to make the... The fuck was it called? Some kind of grinder or something that was supposed to... Let me do laka picatas and then I could be like Jill Valentini. Okay, I'm upset about the lack of weed so far. Oh. Wait. I don't see you though, dude. I could be blind though. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, look at all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get that? What? 
No, I mean, I can't. I can't remember how to stand up. Oh, just took me a second there. Don't you make fun of me? I'm a big, strong man. Biggest and the strongest, and the biggest and the longest. You got any more weed? I feel like they're rife with weed in the Soviet Union. Hello? Huh. So I wonder if the areas are just gonna kind of be like the same. If I just keep going to the same little spotty spotty spot spots. Yo, this place ain't, this place ain't is actually rife with fucking supplies, man, which is what I give a fuck about. I tell you what. Okay. You know what? It's super hard to see the dudes, for me anyway. So... Then I'm gonna go into those big fucking spooky buildings. I wanna just stay out here in the... In the village. Yeah, give me that shit. Okay, we got furs. We got Chernobylite. Chernobylite. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, Chernobylite is a stupid name, but... I mean, there are stupider names out there. Like, uh... Calcium. That's a stupid name. Fuck you, science. Okay. I want... Okay, so I gotta find the dude. Oh, 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 oh! Radiation poisoning! Why did that flash up? You know what I need is some, like, super sensor goggles. That tell me when anyone's trying to fuck with me. I know you're saying... Dane! You're holding a scanner. But fuck off, I want something else. Oh, it's getting too big. I have to actually pay attention to the gear. Uh... What is the purpose of hanging the rats outside? If you're gonna eat the ratos, shouldn't they be inside? I have never eaten a rat, to my knowledge. There was this one time that we went to Mexico and we went on this trip where we like went like with a tour group when we went up into like the the mountains or whatever I don't know if they were mountains but like really big hills and you know there was this like little sort of restaurant I mean it only had like six tables and uh we ordered this huge platter with like a fucking fish in the middle of it and all this other like meat and just just like local fare and then as we're driving away my dad fucking goes, look, look, look. Look, look, look at the cages behind the restaurant and it's all iguanas. And I believe he was implying that we did not eat chicken like we thought we did for some of the meat. I feel like he was just fucking with us, but there were in fact only iguanas in the cages out back. So I like to think that those iguanas were pets or supervisors or franchise owners. And that I did not eat that. Because wouldn't, wouldn't like lizard meat, wouldn't it be a little weird? Like is a lizard nugget anywhere near the texture of a chicken nugget? I have wondered about this for a long time. So like a rat nugget, like rats would be, would rats be fatty do you think? Or would they be, oh the main waypoint is there so maybe I should, yeah. Do we think that rats would be fatty? Because there's that issue with... Like if you're out in the woods or whatever and you're catching rabbits, like you'll fucking die because they're just protein. Like they don't... they don't really have fat on them. So like you can be eating tons of rabbit toe, but... You ain't gonna live too long. And I wonder if rats are... similar. One thing I, I do know about rats, or at least 
a species of rat is that they drag their huge nut sacks on the ground and that if you have rats you can like get a black light out and you can track where they go because their huge nut sacks leave trails of rat pee pee on the ground because they just drag their dick and balls all over your floor and I feel like that's disgusting but it also makes the the rat a complete chad and we should respect him for his huge nut sacks and the fact that he just doesn't give a shit and he just swiffers your floor with them I feel like that's kind of amazing like if I had a nut sack I would want to try dragging it on the floor at least once nut sacks look sticky though like if you've got testicles, do you ever like- Cause the skin is like- It's not like adhered to the- Oh, this is a man! Never mind, nut sacks! Let's find- Woo! What? You'll never find her. Leave Ooh. Place. I didn't- Oh my goodness. Well, I guess that's good. I failed to provide aid to my fellow man. Can I take the Chernobylite out of his face? Anyway, what I was saying about nut sacks is that if you have nut sacks, do you ever like take the nut sack skin and just kind of like, like if you're laying there with your legs open, right? And your ball sack, I imagine, just kind of sits on your ass cheeks a little bit, like it hangs down, right? Like I'm just guessing based on my own anatomy that if it had any extrusions, the gravity would play effect. So it's kind of sitting on your butt a little bit, that part of your butt that kind of sticks out a little bit when you lay down and because it gets pancaked right so do you ever just like take the skin from your nut sack and just like attach it to your thigh and just see how long it sticks I imagine it's like butterscotch kind of I have no desire to have a nut sack but if I had one like I would I would discover things about it I would explore the boundaries of its capabilities that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at on the whole subject matter of ball sacks is that they might be fun and like chicks like we sometimes like if you have endowment on your chest sometimes with your friends you can try to take your tits braless obviously because they need to be free and fling them at each other to see if you can like knock your friend in the shoulder with your tittos or something do you guys do that with your nut sacks? Like, do you just take your junk, give a big old twist in the opposite direction, and then, like, switch hit flick to try to throw your junk at your friend just to fuck him up? And if not, why not? It, it would be like the male dick equivalent of the ponytail flick. I feel like... I feel like these are missed opportunities if they're not happening. Personally. Can I get in here? Okay, I'm getting... The only dude we've seen so far was... F oh, there's dolls. Was fucking dead. So... Can I have that? I cannot read that. It is too fucking small. I would need to be like nose deep into the fucking pixels. And I'm not that blind. Like, I do not legally need my glasses to drive. Uh oh, is that getting bigger the more I go down this road? No, I've already been here. Okay. Oh, can I get into this building? I'm making like a... It's not exactly a chili, but I'm making like a like a bean stew right now. For lack of a better term, like I just took a bunch of beans and like... A couple of like a can of tomato soup and a can of mushroom soup and I just threw them in there into the slow cooker so my home kind of smells like kitchen sink cooking right now which is kind of amazing and I feel like it's fitting for wandering around this fucking shithole because that enormous cauldron of food cost me maybe four dollars I need to get- oh, fuck you! And that's, that's the way to go. My plan, though, is to use the weird bean stew, like, with taco chips and stuff, to make, like, sort of like a taco salad kind of deal. My understanding of what constitutes a taco is, uh, very anglicized because I don't like spice. What do you mean? No, fill that shit up! 
I'm gonna have to play this on my own and actually try to read all this shit. Is there any- I got- I know E's! Uh... Yes? Actor? Oh, Factor. What? No, 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 Fact of! Whatever, you don't need to see me try to practice Russian. Oh wow, that took a little bit to load in. Uh, hmm. Okay. So wait, when Chernobyl fucking bit the dust, it blew up, right? So there was there like a blast radius that caused all this destruction, or is everything jacked up just because it's been abandoned this long? I don't think I can get to that stuff. Why is this happening? What's your fucking problem? Are you trying to make me crazy? A little bit. Yo, why is that one block of my health just like not available? I do find it really quite disturbing. Okay, well I shall name you Misha. Okay, let us go back down. I cannot get to these things. Confirm. Yes, confirm. <sighs> okay. So I'm looking for that crazy dude that Oliver was not keen on meeting, right? Oliver was all like, team fuck that guy. And I was, I gotta build one of these. This is part of why I think we just keep coming back to these areas because I'll get to discover more about them as I go. Oh, these do light up if I haven't highlighted them with my scana. But I'm getting awful close to radiation, so I should maybe turn around. Ooh, but look at that in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope my buddy is doing good. So, from what I read, it sounds like my dude will come back even if he fails. Like, he won't necessarily die. But, oh, there's a guy. But, uh, if I reward him, like, with rations, my other peeps... Oh, this is them putting out the... What does this say? Team To Vriat Vriatuvav Svit Whatever. I think that's them trying to clean it up. But yeah, if I reward the failures, the guys that actually did their missions will get fucking mad at me. So I gotta be careful. This is a this is a meritocracy up in this bitch. But right now I don't have anybody, so I can do whatever I want with Oliver. So if he fails, like I'm still gonna give him a bun. Now I want to kill these motherfuckers right here. Uh, additionally, the achievements in this are fucking broken. We saw them pop up a couple of times where it looked like weird code, and I thought that was just a stylistic choice for the game, but apparently it's actually fucking broken. Hey, there he is. Do you have any more friends with you, sir? Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Would you like to get deaded? Would you like to be the last of us? Yeah, 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 you do. Oh, is there a guy behind me? Is there a guy behind me? Yes, there is! Run like a coward, run like a coward, run like a coward, run like a coward. Get the fuck up out of there! Run your shit, Agor! Woo! Do I have a stamina bar? Because that would blow up. They'll blow big huge chunks of ass. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide here in the wood pile with all the bugs. And my friend with the Chernobylite stuck in his face. Does time keep ticking while I'm in here? Yes it does. Does it keep ticking while I'm in there? I don't think so. Hey man. You mad bro? I busted a my- oh, I'm a little insane. Hmm. Well, 
Yeah, what are you gonna do? Alright, I don't want to wait around forever. I want to maybe be a little more aggressive here. Because, you know, that's how you rise up against a man. Get out there and you fuck get back in the game after you run away like you run up to his house and you throw a fucking rock through the window and then you fuck off into the woodpile. And then you go back and you do it again. Leave a poo on his front stoop. Ooh, can I get up there? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Who? Oh, fuck off. Yeah, he's behind cover. You don't even know. What if I get over here behind this fucking fence? Now you're confused. Do I get a sniffer rifle at some point? Because that'd be fucking rad. Fucking liquidate your ass, bitch. <sighs> Alright, so it's 2021. And Chernobyl bit it in 86, right? Can you go there yet? Like, without risk of being an unwitting contributor to strange developments in your progenital line? I remember seeing pictures of Chernobyl kids as a kid. And no offense to those kids, but holy shit, man. I first thought was MONSTER! And then I felt so sad. Like their long bones were all fucked up and like just... And like even worse than all that is they were just like... All the pictures were taken of them in these areas that were just like in a state of poverty that I, I, I don't have to deal with in my country. And they just, I don't know, they just looked miserable. And it was, it was sad, but it was also just haunting. And if you're into being haunted, uh, this is gonna sound insensitive, maybe, but uh, highly recommend. There's been a couple of like, what do you call them? Like uh, photo essays done from like not even like the first batch of kids, like not even the first wave, like the ones that just keep coming. I was already in here. And uh, some fucked up shit, man. Absolutely fucked up shit. Now. How does Dane Green feel about nuclear power? Uh, I feel like I have questions about it. I have questions about the disposal of the, is it the rods? That like, you have to retire them, but they're still, they're still radioactive. Okay, that's going up. And where, like, we put them in vaults and stuff, right? Additionally, nuclear waste, is that, like, the coolant? Like, the water and stuff that is, is used to cool the rods or just anything that comes in contact with the reactor? And, like, is the only option to put them in fucking vaults forever? Like, I want to know about disposal. I'm more I'm more concerned about disposal than I am about reactor go boom because I feel like whoa, I feel like reactor go boom in the Soviet Union was because bad workmanship more than anything and I feel like reactor could not go boom now. What? I'm an idiot! Fukushima went boom and that wasn't that long ago, right? But did Fukushima go boom because there was something wrong with the plant? Or did it go boom because like... Well wait, even the Chernobyl reactor went boom because... 
Was there actually anything wrong with the plant? Like, was it shoddy workmanship? Or wasn't it a mistake with... They were running some tests or something? And they... They accidentally, like, triggered a meltdown or something? Like, wasn't it human error rather than, like, mechanical error? So was Fukushima bad workmanship? Like, okay, so... Clearly I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but these are the questions I have, is I'm primarily concerned with yes, do not trigger meltdown, but also the environmental effects, like the, because it creates this material, like, okay, so it's, it sounds like it's sustainable, but only if we have a good plan for dumping the waste. And by good plan, I don't mean the fucking ocean. So, like, what's the plan there? Can you repurpose that shit for anything? Because that'd be interesting. I mean, we have a nuclear plant not too far from me. I mean, I, I guess it does a good job. I mean, if I guess if it blows up, I might be in trouble, but... You know. I think maybe... Maybe... It's something that could answer some trouble for us, but only if some questions are fucking answered. And if we somehow manage to guard against the thing that fucks everything, which is human complacency. So... Not that I have the power or station in life to have any say in this, but... You know, should someone ever deign to ask Dane? These are the things that Dane would want to know. Okay, so it, it, where is this thing? It's over there. By thing, I mean that dude. Hey man, you got the stuff? I keep thinking about this. Uh, there's a YouTuber I like to watch, Mia Mulder. And she does, she does kind of these little video essays, and she did one about drugs. But she, she used the term drinks instead, and she like, coded all the drugs, so like opiates were orange juice, and... I don't know, weed was like tea or something like that, but... Because, you know, the algorithm, which I don't really give a fuck about. But uh, there's like one part where she's like pretending, she's doing that thing like open the coat, like you want to buy some stuff, but she's like got a cup of tea. She's like, yo, yo, you want to buy some fucking chamomile? And I keep fucking thinking about it. <laughs> I just keep fucking laughing. <laughs> oh, that shit was funny. Oh. There he is. Yo, you want to buy some chamomile? Fucking hook you up, brother. Oh yeah, this guy wants to buy chamomile. Okay, I should maybe get behind this barrel, though. Yes, 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 yes. Don't like... Nothing, nothing, nothing! Let's find out what happens. Oh. Oh, I'm just knifing his ass. Let's just see what happens when I run into him with my knife. I might die. Oh my gosh, I lived. But, but barely. Time to go, time to go, time to go, time to go. I'm super bloodified. Okay, I don't recommend what I just did. Don't sell soldiers chamomile. They get mad about it. I can't jump over that. I'm really bloodified. Okay, okay, okay. We're in the bush. How busted am I? I'm not that busted. I guess busted enough. Here, have some salve. There we go. Whew! I should maybe drink some vodka. Because I'm feeling a little insane. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good as new. Get back in the... Get back on the front line, soldier.